I've long been a PC gamer, and I recently made a video here on the channel where I talked about how I kind of counselified my PC. Keyboard and mouse free, easy controller playback in a living room or in a home theater environment using a combination of the Steam Deck UI for Steam uh, and some other Windows settings that allow basically clean and fast and efficient operation of the computer without a lot of hands-on intervention. So part of that video talked about booting the computer directly from a cold boot right into Steam. You don't have to touch a mouse and a keyboard. You just turn that PC on, you get your controller out, you turn it on, and you're good to go. So the questions were all, how do we do that? What are the specific settings? How specifically did I set this up? So I'm gonna talk about that here today. As you've already seen from the B-roll, I can go from off a cold boot of my computer directly to the, to the awesome, awesome big picture mode Steam Deck UI that you see behind me. And this really boils down to a few specific things. Uh, one, not so long ago, we actually had to jump through some hoops to make this happen, where big picture mode, old school big picture mode was still around, and the Steam Deck UI as a replacement for big picture mode had been part of the beta releases or the fast track releases of the Steam client. But since about mid to late 2023, no more. In Steam now, production level, regular distribution of Steam, no betas required. The deck UI has completely replaced the old school big picture mode. In fact, you can still boot the old one if you want to with some uh, executable switches and stuff like that, but I would in no way recommend that. The deck UI just runs absolutely circles around, around the old school big picture mode in terms of how it looks and how it works in everything that you can do with it. So step number one, install Steam. You've basically already done that, right? But there are two settings in Steam that we actually have to set part and parcel of doing this. Again, you're gonna get the deck UI automatically for big picture mode, but you have to go into your Steam settings and you have to tell Steam to one, launch in big picture mode, and two, set, up, set it up so that Steam launches when the computer starts itself. And do keep in mind that both of these settings, you're not actually able to set them in big picture mode. You need to be in the Steam desktop, go into settings, go into like the UI interfaces tab, and they're basically two check boxes right there. Now, the other thing that I would recommend that you double check is go into Windows settings, look for startup and look at your startup apps. Make sure you see Steam in that list and make sure that you see Steam checked. I have seen some discrepancy between checking the load Steam when Windows starts box in Steam itself versus having uh, Steam checked actually in the Windows settings. And I've also seen some squirreliness in my PC where I actually have two entries for Steam. I don't understand that, but hey, it's Windows, it's PC gaming. Sometimes uh, you can get some kind of screwy results, but in any case, it will work. And so those two settings alone will now give you default big picture mode and Steam will start in that big picture mode when your computer boots up from scratch. But there's one more step. Windows, because of its general kind of security evolutions, usually requires you to enter something. You have to enter a password. You're probably logging into a Microsoft account, but we wanna bypass that. We want the computer to just go from off to this interface without having to type anything, uh, a password, a passcode, or any biometric stuff or anything like that. And so, this one's a little harder to find. It's not just directly right in the Windows settings. You've got to dig a little bit more for this one. But once you know what you're looking for, luckily the setting is easy to find and easy to work with. Just go to your Windows desktop, hit Windows R, or get to the Run menu, type NetPLWiz, N-E-T-P-L-W-I-Z. That will open up a dialog where you should see the login account, the Windows account that you're using for this computer. And just above that will be a checkbox. That checkbox says something like users must enter a name and a password to use this computer. By default, it will be enabled, requiring you to do a login when your computer boots up. However, in this case, we can select our user account. We can disable that checkbox. And now we're essentially running our Windows boot directly to the desktop without any manual intervention required. So you put all these things together, you cold start your computer, Windows is going to start up. It's going to authenticate with the chosen account all the way through without a password or a passcode or anything stopping the sequence like that. Then it will engage the startup apps. And of course, now we have Steam in there. 
directly launching in big picture mode. And you get the effect that I demonstrated at the beginning of this video with the B-roll that we're ready to go, we're ready to play with one press and a controller in our hand. Now, a couple of things to consider with this, of course, what this means is that we're effectively kind of running our computer, let's say a little more unsecured, a little more open. So depending on where you're at in life, uh, where you live, who you live with, maybe it's not the best idea for you to be running an unsecured computer. At home here with just the family and no specific security concerns, I don't have any problem using these features for the convenience and the ease of access that it provides, let alone that it lets my kids able to boot the computer, get into Steam, play some games and other things like that without having to worry about my account. But I trust everybody in the household and I trust what they're going to do. Uh, and my kids are at a point an age uh, and a technology maturation where they're completely capable to use the computer and they don't necessarily need hand holding or oversight and stuff like that to help them along. But I think this is absolutely fantastic. You put these couple things together. This is what I've wanted out of being essentially a living room, a home theater, PC gamer for so long. I only go to the mouse and keyboard specifically for administration purposes or in the oddball case where a game doesn't work or a game may require some specific mouse and keyboard config. But by and large, especially with new games and anything that's been, been released in the recent past, you know, they're built for controllers, they'll, they're built for these kind of modes, and it just works absolutely flawlessly. And part and parcel with all of this, as I talked about in the prior, like, counselified PC video, is I do use my computer completely shutting it down when I'm finished, and again, booting it up from scratch when I'm ready to play. I've noticed enough anomalies, let's say, with having the computer go to sleep and then be woken up to play games. When you do that with this like LG OLED, for example, it doesn't always properly get back to re-engaging G-Sync. You get VRR, but you don't get true G-Sync. So a lot of things just work better to essentially cold boot the computer in my experience. The boot time is very quick. By the time I hit this button on the computer and I've got my controller and I'm sitting on the couch ready to play, I'm pretty much sitting here directly at the UI. And in terms of shutdown, because of the deck interfaces and the options available, we don't even have to go outside the Steam Deck software. We don't have to go outside the Steam Deck interface. We don't need the mouse and keyboard to shut the whole computer down. It's in the power options directly in the deck software itself. I'm ecstatic that Valve brought the deck UI to the home screen like they did. I hope that they invest in more features and enhancements and augmentations and capabilities for those of us that are using this. Give them some positive feedback and let them know this is just a fantastic addition to Steam and we hope it gets even better with time. Sound off in the comments. Let me know if this is useful to you. How do you use your computer in, again, a non-office, non-dedicated mouse and keyboard environment? Let's chat. Otherwise, please do all that regular YouTube stuff. Like, subscribe, hit the bell, share the video as I'm sure this could be very, very useful to quite a few gamers out there. And come on back for more home theater, home theater gaming discussion, all of that, and a bunch of fun. Thanks so much.